I've just come back from, uh, from uh, almost a year of uh, working uh, with the Syrian uh, population, uh, whether it's the displaced population in Turkey or uh, more precisely, uh, most of our work is concentrated within uh, the confines of Syria itself. And what I can say is that uh, since I, I've arrived, the situation unfortunately has just deteriorated for the worst. The bombing is just indiscriminate uh, and ongoing uh, uh, towards the civilian infrastructures. Unfortunately, what we're seeing as well is that the medical structures are also caught in the lines of crossfire. We have uh, medical structures that we have been supporting for, for many years that have been bombed now almost a dozen times over the last, uh, uh, over the last year. It's just incredible. Uh, people, unfortunately, uh, cannot flee anymore. The borders are closed. People that had fled initially uh, within the confines of the borders in Turkey, in Lebanon, or in Jordan, uh, now feel that there is no possibility for, for them to return to Syria anytime soon. And this has provoked, over the last two years, and especially over the last summer, this mass migration of population uh, towards Europe. And, uh, and the ones, unfortunately, that are still within the country are the most vulnerable. They're the ones that don't have the money, that were not able to flee to Turkey or Jordan or, um, or Lebanon.